Today we've got an old versus new driver comparison. We've got a Ping i25 and a G425 LST. We have Taylor to hit the shots. We have Trackman to give us all the numbers and we'll see what the data tells us about these two drivers. Golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and then you drop a comment and tell us what you think of the i25 or the G425 LST. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined by Taylor Ledwine, a master fitter at Second Swing and the online fitting and support team. A fun comparison today, Taylor. We have the Ping i25. This is probably, what, eight years old by now at least? Probably. Um, and the G425 LST. So mm -hmm. uh, interesting comparison here because we kind of went back in time here. These, this, uh, I actually played a G25 in college. So this is the i25, a little more of a players oriented driver. And we've got the G425 LST, mm -hmm. and that LST does make it more of a player's oriented type shape. Uh, you have a G425 LST in your bag, although your setup is a little bit different than this yeah. one. But um, what do you think we could see today from this? Because we've got, again, several years of technology mm -hmm. uh, difference here. So I think that, well, the nice thing about the LST compared to there that we're not really going to deal with today is the movable mm -hmm, weight in the yeah. back. Um, but this one's going to be a little bit more forgiving, yeah. uh, a little bit. Uh, wider face range yeah. to hit off of where I feel like this driver is going to give us a little bit more yeah. if it's not right in the center it's either going to go way off target or it's going to go way right. short of what you'd expect. Yeah I think that's where we uh, in testing that we've done is we've just noticed newer drivers that's really the big difference is if you hit it off the toe or hit it off the heel a mm -hmm. uh, lot less forgiving with the older models when you go years and years back versus something that's a little bit newer like the G425. Um, one more thing too uh, interesting uh, appearance on that crown there. We got a couple stripes, like a like a race car almost, yeah. um, which uh, I think you'll uh, have a fun adjustment to hitting this one. Yeah, we'll see. I'm I'm pretty visual, so we'll yeah. see if that kind of distracts me as I'm hitting. All right. Well, let's hit uh, maybe five shots with each driver here. We'll get some data. We'll look at the differences, and we'll see uh, if there's a big or a small difference between eight years of difference in technology. Sounds good. That was a good ball. Can definitely tell though, like when it's not off the center. Ooh, connected on that one. Oh, look at that, not italicized spin. Perfect. <laughs> Holy, already a ball speed gain. Wow. Yeah, that's a good ball too. All right, so Taylor, I-25 versus G-425 LST. That's a unique, I don't think we've ever really had I-25 on the channel before. So mm -hmm. um, that's a, a unique test there. Um, talk to me about the look and feel of each driver. We already talked a little bit about the crown and the stripes there on the yep. I-25. Um, so visually there's that, but also anything on the feel that you noticed. So the kind of the little race stripes on the crown, yeah. they're not super distracting, but they are like, you know, you can see them especially. Yeah. In here with the lights, but even outside, I feel like with mm. this sun, uh, the 425, it's just like a nice clean. It has those little turbulators, yep. but it doesn't sure. really draw your eye in because it doesn't like shine off of it or anything. So yeah. I just think the look of the 425 is a little nicer. Right. And the I I25 yeah. felt a little bit heavier than the 425. Uh, so the 425 was a little nicer to swing. Didn't feel like I had to generate as much power to get it through because yeah. it's a little bit lighter. So that was nicer for it. Yeah, it definitely. You can see that here with your club speed actually went up, you know, a little over two miles an hour. Yeah. Um, and then, I mean, I imagine it was like you mentioned that feel thing where you, it just seemed like you didn't need as much effort, I guess. To yeah. Swing through. So um, definitely something that I'm sure Ping worked on in terms of maybe it is the turbulators doing some of that. Maybe it's just the different weighting. Um, uh, adjustments that they made in the club head, but mm -hmm. clearly easier for you to get that club around and gain some speed there. Um, also up there, as we look at the numbers, with that added club speed, you did get some more ball speed, right? I mean, yeah. you had six miles an hour faster. That's pretty significant right there. Mm -hmm. And then because of that, the smash factor also went up. So you're, you're not only hitting it 
swinging faster, but you're also hitting the ball more efficiently and getting you know more ball speed out of that, which we'll talk about the distance there, but really good performance on the ball speed. I mean, to go six miles an hour on average over the last eight years, that's pretty good by ping, I think. Yeah, I think they really, you know, did a good job with the technology and with the 425, you're getting more forgiveness, like mm -hmm. we said, across the face. So with the I-25, I feel like you had to hit it right in the center for yeah. it to kind of give that hot feel. Whereas the 425, you could kind of hit it, not all over, but right. not have to be right on the center to give you that nice ball strike and, you know, fly like you'd want it to. Yeah, I mean, a, a slight miss on the I-25 is going to deliver a worse result than a slight miss on the G425 LST. So yeah. that's where that ball speed um, definitely uh, improved there as well. Mm -hmm. um, spin, something we should note too. The I-25, not, I mean, it's a lower spinning club compared to like the G25. Right. But um, the G425 LST, low spin tech, mm -hmm. uh, you see that lower spin show up here. Uh, so a player that does need to be in a low spin club head, they should be encouraged by that to see that ping has found a way to kind of lower that spin a little bit uh, over time in the driver. Yeah, people who definitely have a higher spin, even you know between the max and the LST, should just give them confidence that they are mm -hmm. building this certain model for them to be able to get that little bit lower spin. I mean, even here it's 212 yeah. or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you know, it's it is important to get that yeah. spin down, even if it's just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then we can see the distance. I mean. Mm -hmm. The carry distance was pretty similar. Yep. Uh, You're hitting the G425 LST just a little bit lower, and that's why that carry isn't as big of a difference. But yeah. we should uh, bring up this dispersion here too, because there's a lot of things to discuss there. So um, this is our dispersion map. Obviously, the orange being the G425 LST, the white being the I25. Mm -hmm. You can see that orange one's a little bit further up the screen. Yeah. And I know the the question that the fitters in the store will ask the golfers is which of these circles or ovals do you like better mm -hmm. i know a lot of people would like that orange one a little bit further up the screen and also something to note consistency on the distance there too so yeah. you have a, it's almost it's skinnier from i guess the north to the south so that's something to take away too i think so yeah so with the 425 on the one that's kind of to the left there once mm -hmm. i hit it we both kind of talked about how i closed the face a little bit more on that one so i don't feel like that was so much club related yeah. but with the i-25 i felt like i made five you know pretty good swings in that short one there just wasn't yeah. right off the center whereas with the 425 right. even if i didn't hit that right in the center it's still getting that distance and you know straight down the fairway so i just feel like it's really mm -hmm. upgraded the forgiveness and yeah. it's a good option for <laughs> golfers now right i mean you kind of made a slight you know slightly missed the face on this one down here and you know your ball speed dropped actually below 130 whereas mm -hmm. you know with the g425 lst you're in the 140s um, on almost all of your shots here so yeah. uh, you can see how much of a drop off that is and you can see it was it's not like your your smash was one four zero so you might be slightly missed the center and it you dropped essentially what 15 yards 20 yards of mm -hmm. distance there and so i think that's going to be the big difference so uh, even when you're maybe working with with golfers over the phone and you're trying they're maybe asking you questions about you know which driver should i play or yeah. what, you know what's the difference between an old driver and new driver i think that's probably a good way to explain it is um, a slight miss on an old driver is going to make a much bigger difference than on a new driver. Yeah, and when we're talking on the phones, you know, people ask, you know, why should I get the newer model? And it's just, it's really all new technology. Yeah. The 425, the turbulators help a little bit. Mm -hmm. And the face, like I've said multiple times, just the forgiveness is bigger. So mm -hmm. it is newer yeah. and you like to say better. And I think just kind of showing me show that they have yeah. really made those better improvements yeah. to the clubs. Yeah, and that's the thing too, for being a 2013 or something driver, mm -hmm. I-25 was pretty good. I mean, there those the four up there in particular, those all of them, the ones over 240, pretty consistent performance there. Yeah. And um, we did just see a little bit of a, of a downtick uh, for that slight miss, but mm -hmm. uh, I think golfers should, uh, you know, they, they now know that um, the, the G425, really good performance really consistent, whether it's on the center, whether it's a slight miss, they'll feel pretty confident about that. So the golfers that have a G425 are probably gonna like this video. Yeah. The golfers that are interested in a G425 may also like this video and it might uh, help them give some more confidence when they're looking to purchase one perhaps. For potentially. sure, yeah. Well, golfers, if you're interested in a G425 driver, you can schedule your fitting a second swing, either with an online fitter like Taylor here or with our fitters in the store. We'll get you dialed in and shooting lower scores. Uh, Taylor, thank you again for joining. Really good stuff here today. Again, some pretty good improvements in the technology mm -hmm. over the years here. Yeah, it's great to see and I'm uh, looking forward to doing more videos.